American diplomats and family members are now safely on their way out of Sudan as they continue to hustle onto U.S. military planes. The president of the United States, President Biden, confirmed the evacuation late last night through a statement. In addition, the U.S. Embassy in Khartoum is now closed. Officials are telling CNN that the decision to evacuate American personnel comes as fighting between rival military factions in Sudan has ramped up over the past week. So far, hundreds are dead and thousands have been wounded. In recent days, additional U.S. military support was deployed near Sudan in preparations for a potential evacuation of the embassy. Now, one of the warring factions, the Sudanese Armed Forces, said in a statement that its leader agreed to help facilitate the safe evacuation of foreign citizens. Still to come on Tucson today, the Arizona Attorney General is announcing that Arizona water usage from a foreign business needs to be closely monitored. Plus, Ben's Bells is hosting a special event for the community. Find out how you can join. That's straight ahead after the break.